Good afternoon. A team of Scottish scientists is developing cutting-edge technology to develop a new test for bacterial infection. It comes as dire warnings are issued about the catastrophic effect worldwide of superbugs. At Edinburgh University, a new project may be part of the solution. It's the biggest threat we face in modern mankind. Um, we are losing an evolutionary race against bugs. So the superbugs are coming and mankind is at a precipice at the moment. The pipeline of antibiotics is drying up. There's not been enough investment. And a global call to arms now, really, this is the arms race. It's against bugs, it's against bacteria. Proteus is a large scale project, brings together many disciplines. So mathematicians, chemists, engineers, support staff to develop next generation technology and what that will enable us to do is give the right antibiotic at the right time or most importantly not give antibiotics if there's no infection. Three walkers have had to be rescued after getting lost in the Cairngorms National Park. Rescue teams and a helicopter were called just after 8 o'clock last night after the walkers had lost their way in the Glenshee Hills. They were walked off the mountains by rescue teams in the early hours of this morning. A new campaign has been launched to tackle hate crime and encourage victims and witnesses to come forward. The Scottish Government, Police Scotland and the Crown Office are leading the drive to increase awareness of the issue. More than 5,000 cases of hate crime were reported in Scotland over the past year. Almost 9 out of 10 Scots want to see their local GP service being better funded. A new study by the Royal College of GPs in Scotland also found 79% of those asked felt family doctors are the healthcare professionals they trust the most in their community. Insurance company Aviva is to create 150 jobs in Perth under plans for a new customer service centre. The roles include customer advisors and claims handlers. And finally, the search has started for the new manager of the Scotland national football team. The Scottish FA parted company with Gordon Strachan yesterday after he failed to take the nation to the 2018 World Cup. Their chief executive, Stuart Reagan, is due to speak today to explain the decision. Now here's Sean with the weather forecast. STV Weather, sponsored by Thompson. Good afternoon. We've got much sunnier weather coming in from the northwest at the moment, and that'll extend south and east through today. But still, a lot of cloud in central and eastern parts. But sunshine breaking through here a little bit later on. Staying windy across the north and the northwest, with gales continuing through the rest of the day and also into tonight as well. The wind slowly easing off into tomorrow. Some scattered showers though coming into the western hours. No showers spreading into northern and western areas overnight tonight. Elsewhere, it should be largely dry with clear spells and temperatures down to about seven or eight degrees in a few of the glens. Then tomorrow dry and bright start for many of us staying that way in the northeast but rain developing in the west some on the heavy side bye bye stv weather sponsored by thompson that's all this lunchtime norman will be back with the stv news at six have a good afternoon goodbye